Hi guys, my name is Chire and this is my first video of my series of tutorial. In this video, we will going to fix the power problem of ESP8266 interfacing with Arduino. Now. Let's have a look with the model that I had made. As you can see ESP8266 7805 AMS1117 capacitor and some register. Now let's have a look with the circuit diagram. As we all know, ESP8266 required high current and 3.3 volt. If you are using a battery of 3.3 volt, yes, you can directly connect to the ESP. Just connect CHPD pin and VCC pin to the VCC of battery and ground to the ground. I don't have battery, so I am connecting AMS1117 that gives 3.3 volt. Just connect V out pin to the CHPD pin and VCC pin of ESP8266. When if ESP8266 required a high current, then this capacitor will be very useful. You can connect 5 volt and 1 ampere current direct to the AMS1117, or you can also connect 7805 to the AMS1117. I use 12 volt and 1 ampere current. I connect V out pin to the V in pin of 7805 to the MS1117 and this capacitor is again if the load increase then it will helpful. This capacitor is for filtration purpose. Be remember to connect all the ground. This TXD pin is connect to the RXD pin of the Arduino and these registers are to shift the level voltage level. As we all know, Arduino no gives 3.3 volt, uh, which will directly connect to the RXD pin by which ESP may get damaged. So, to overcome, these uh, registers are used to shift it down, 1K and 2K. So, guys, this is how it works. Thanks for watching.